Relegation candidates clashed in Corsica as Ajaxio hosted Press on Sunday afternoon. Ajaxio have just seven games remaining to close the 10 point gap to safety, but having collected just six points in 2023 so far, just being able to celebrate a goal at home would seemingly be a wonderful turn of events. The home faithful have endured six losses to nil from the last seven home Liga Nubari fixtures. Yet the last time the sides met, Aka were victorious in Brittany, yet Bresse arrived knowing victory would keep them from slipping into the bottom four. Vincent Marchetti trying to set the tone. The captain sliding in, Roman Amuma finding Munaim El Idrisi. They couldn't turn home. The forward, the last home goal scorer, the Stad Francois Coty. Well, 1,260 kilometers separate the two towns of Ajaxo and Bress. The longest distance between two teams in the league this season. It wasn't the only long distance. In the fact, it seemed far away from a goal. Only three Ajaxo players have scored more than one goal this campaign. El Idrissi and Belay, along with Amuma. No other team has fewer players with at least two goals. The big top five European leagues. Omar Gonzalez not too close to joining them. Amuma then got in behind again. Once more, the combination of he and El Edrisi couldn't forge Ajaxo ahead. Ciro Bayala on after just 17 minutes to replace Michael Barreto. And he would end up causing panic at the back for Brest. Brendan Chardonnay bailed out by his defensive partner, Lionel Brassier. The follow-up, Youssef Belaili, trying his luck. He has scored twice as many goals in 16 league and Uber Eats games with Ajaxio. Six. That's more than the three he managed in 19 appearances for his former side, Brest. Goal is at the break. Ajaxio had lost each of the last six league and Uber Eats games. The longest current run in 2022-23 and their joint longest ever in the top flight along with the run between December 68 and January 1969. Steve Munier took it to task in the second half. Pierre Les Melou hitting the target but not worrying Benjamin Leroy. Franck Honoré and setting Munier in motion again this time deflections helping Ajaxio survive. Well, an impact sub then sent on by Olivier Pantaloni. But it was not the one he'd wanted. Johan Tuzgar came on at the same time as Roman Del Castillo. Just four minutes after his arrival, the striker was given his marching orders. Del Castillo would last only another five minutes before he was then replaced by Matias Pereira Lage. And the sub would open the door for Munier's best chance of three. First time cross, hitting the target. But Leroy getting down sharply to push his effort wide. The Benin International, not sure how much more he could do. A point that does little for either side. Brest slip into the relegation zone. Still 10 clear of Ajaxio, who must feel they're forming Angers and Troyes towards the Ligue 2. Becca return.